Here's a story that's got my patriotic blood boiling. It's a new report by the Military Protection Project. It found that America's warriors are being denied the right to vote. It is an outrage, America's great men and women in the military. Let's talk to the co-publisher of this report. We welcome Kendra Rotunda of the Military Voter Protection Project. Ms. Rotunda is a former Army JAG attorney and a military law professor at Chapman University. Uh, Kendra, welcome. First of all, Thank what's you. going on here? Is it, are you saying in this that the absentee ballot uh, process, which supposedly was improved by law, is not working, and so the men and women can't vote? It's not working, and it's not working because the Pentagon's simply not following the law. They're ignoring federal law. They're supposed to have military voter registration on federal basis, and they're just not doing it. And it's leading to what we think are going to be record lows in military voter turnout um, by as great as 70 cent dips in key states like Virginia and Ohio. Uh, you know, if I were a cynic, if I were a cynic, I would say this is because polls show 60 percent of military voters vote Republican. Now, would I be too cynical? You know, who knows? But what really matters is it doesn't matter how they vote. It matters that they vote. And this is clearly frustrating their right, their opportunity to be able to cast a ballot this election year. And the Pentagon, frankly, seems not to care very much. The Pentagon's response is, well, let's wait until after the election and see how things turn out. And after the election is simply too late. We've got to make sure that service members can cast a ballot. That's why Congress gave Pentagon marching orders two years ago, now three years ago. And the Pentagon's just refusing to follow them. Well, who at the Pentagon gave this order to defy Congress and to defy our fighting men their sacred right to vote? You know, who's responsible for this? What federal judge can you get to slap an injunction to solve this quick before it's too late? What's being done about this? Well, you know, frankly, I think the buck stops with President Obama. He's the commander in chief. Why isn't he all over this? I was, I was former military. I served as an army major in the JAG Corps. I know how difficult it is to vote when you're deployed. And it's up to the commander in chief to make sure to put the right kind of pressure on the Pentagon and ensure that the Pentagon is following federal law and helping to get those, those ballots to service members who are deployed. Kendra, so I think we need to look to Obama. Kendra, I mean, there's, there's absentee voting going on right now. I mean, the election, as you know, has already begun. Are you getting right. reports from people in the field, from men and women in the military, that they can't get their hands on ballots, on absentee ballots? Are you hearing that? Are people writing to you about this? What, we're, what we've done is we've looked at the numbers in individual states to see how many absentee ballots were requested. And what we know is that the, record, the numbers are at a record low this year when compared to 2008, down by 70 percent in states like Virginia and Ohio. Um, and we know that the Pentagon knows about the problem. And basically they're responding by saying, look, we're sending out lots of tweets telling soldiers to vote, but that's not the answer. They're supposed to have voter registration on military bases. They're supposed to help those service members register for absentee ballots. And what we're finding is that they're not doing what they're supposed to do under the law. They're having these voter registration offices in remote places on military bases, like the back of the chapel or the back of the post library. And they need to be following their own check-in process and making sure that service members are allowed to update their voter registration information or or request an absentee ballot on military base, just like civilians are able to do when they go to their local well, DMV. Once again, I just, yeah, Larry, I, sorry. you know, you're, you're, I've got some numbers here. 70 percent, the mil, military balloting, 70 percent down in Virginia, 70 percent down in Ohio, 46 percent down in Florida. That just happens right. to be key swing states, Kendra. And again, right, polls appalling. show military, you know, military tend to vote about three fifths for Republicans. Again, am I too cynical about this? I mean, it almost sounds like a conspiracy. Well, you know, I don't know what the motivation is, but I know that it's the Pentagon's job to do their job. And I know that President Obama really ought to be stepping up for service members and taking care of soldiers and making sure that they get the right to vote. Look, if you were going to ask them to come up with a plan to impede military voting, I don't think they could do a better job of it. Right. Not helping soldiers get absentee ballots, not doing what they're supposed to do under federal law, is definitely impeding military voting. There's good. no question about it. Good luck, Kendra. Kendra Rotunda, Thank I say you. good luck. This whole story is an outrage. I wish